Greetings Tubal Hoblix. This is Cutworm coming at you. Uh, let me see what it is today. Oh, it's 100% thousand community and it's 75 o'clock. And uh, there been a few more hundred loads of dirt laid out there and leveled and stuff and so it's getting close to time to put a house on it thanks to my neighbor and his equipment uh ford lawn man uh you need to check out his channel he's a wonderful young man does really neat stuff uh he wanted to know about this truck uh i worked on this truck when I had the garage there and lastly and uh, a wonderful man drove it around and uh, he ended up he ended up come to find out he was a Vietnam hero of course anybody that served is a hero to me I don't care if you screwed the light bulbs in or cooked or or followed or you know fought to fought everybody you're still a hero to me and the stuff I did I don't think I was a hero because I was doing it for a living but I appreciate everybody else uh, Willie Overstreet had this truck and uh, worked on it worked on it and finally he come up there and he said Steve says do you want this truck I said yes I do and he sold it to me and he was a he carried a radio pack in Vietnam he did two tours and God bless him uh, he's a wonderful hero and he let me have this truck and I've loved it ever since uh, originally a 360 I think maybe a 390 and I put uh, some uh, heads on it that's got the big valves and the big runners and stuff. And then I put a two barrel intake on it. <clears throat> and I drove it back and forth <clears throat> an hour and a half each way to work. And it never let me down. And it got, with that combination I put on it, it got, you know, 17 miles to the gallon, which is good for a four-wheel drive in 350 years. But I let it sit in ruin, loaned it to my, what was then my father-in-law. He lived in Missouri, and they have uh, bad winters up there, and they use salt and it just about eat itself up when I got it back but anyway that's just far and beyond the, the thing but I called it old nubbin because the uh, Willie lived up on the nubbin hill and it's short wheelbase it's strange for me because I uh, long wheelbase trucks are more useful to me and a short wheelbase truck is just to me it just might as well have a cat uh, a car oh lord you never can tell what's going to be in my yard look how big that rascal is there's my foot there's a size 11 foot and a jawbone off of a dinosaur I guess we've had dinosaurs here in the past and there's the camper it's right there landed Parts of it fell off of it, but it only landed on some Cadillac Escalades. And they figured anybody stupid enough to pull this is scary enough anyway. Look, there's, I guess somebody got a free air conditioner somewhere down the road. And anyway, proof that it made it. <clears throat> 